And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Ephemeral Midrange. Definitely needs to bring this awesome deck back. Uh, played this one uh, last week, uh, last Tuesday, a week from today. And we went 5-0 in Masters, which is awesome. Uh, not expecting that to happen again. You know, that's just such a difficult thing. But this deck was just really cool. It was cool being able to play um, Ephemerals and play Hecarim and get a lot of wins. Like, this deck has a really powerful top end with a couple copies of Harrowing or with Dawn and Dusk being able to copy Hecarim or copy Zed. And, uh, yeah, just kind of get those ephemerals going. We have some death marks and dark water scourge. Remember, we're really, really good for us, this combo. And we still have some good defensive elements. So it's not like we're just um, do our ephemeral thing and hope it's better than what our opponent's doing. Because we have deny, will of Ionia, grasp, withering whale. Um, we have some good defensive elements of ruination. So it's it a nice uh, mid-range deck, you know, that can be defensive, can be aggressive, and has a great top end. That's all, you, that's all you're really asking for in the deck. So here we go. Let's go ahead and play some ephemeral mid-range. We're going to play five games over in Masters Ranked again. Where are we at? 273. Not bad. And, uh, to, yeah, so today we're bringing back two of our Hecarim decks, this one and the Unyielding Hecarim. Both of those we did great with last week. And then uh, two other ones here, Vimerdinger Control, which is always a very popular deck and one that uh, people have been asking about since the patch. How is it? We haven't tried it out since the patch, so we're going to do that. And then Puffcat Plunder, a deck that I really like, a deck that's, um, I think it's going to be pretty fun with, uh, you know, Teemo and Sejuani. Okay. Drive from Exhale. Okay. Nice to know. All right, so we're playing against uh, AG Topher. Awesome dude. Uh, I, uh, I'll host his stream sometimes after I get done. Do the same for me. Uh, good good streamer here on Twitch as well. Um, hand's very slow, but it's powerful. I don't just keep 6-7 drop, do I? That doesn't seem right. I kind of want to, though, because these cards are so good, but we should probably uh, mulligan. Lady Elise, where are you? But I want to attack. Don't have the attack token. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Ooh, Shark Chariot. The dark beckons. Hmm. So I think I got a plan. Plan of next turn play Zed with Deny back up. They cannot hide. Do not fear the shrouded path. Let's go, Zed. I do have a backup Zed as well. Could it Shadow Shift? I'm supposed to be shadow shifting there. Just if I do shadow shift, and even if that happens, I attack for six, then I'm 
you know, my Zed's back in my hand, the Deny's in my hand, I have so much stuff in my hand, I have, like, nothing out here. And, uh, you know, I've used all my mana still with the Shadow Shift. We can uh, lose a lot of tempo doing that. Because I'm basically, I'm basically casting Will of Ionia on myself. Like, that's what Shadow Shift's doing. It's like me spending the mana for a Will of Ionia. Hey, Gucci. They follow the wrong master. I attack with you. I kind of expect this to be like a twin disciplines or a barrier. Like, I, I don't expect my Zed to survive this attack. But I think it's still worth the attack. You know, it's just like Zed dying to a removal spell. Basically, but get this attack for six in. Ooh. Only the worthy survive. Wow. Wow. All right, well, Zed is leveled up now. Hey, come on. What's up? Happy Tuesday. I am the blade in the darkness. Uh, that's unfortunate. I didn't think he, I didn't think he had a three damage burn spell because he didn't last last turn because he used the thermogenic beam, but obviously just drew that gotcha. I wanted to play, you know, force them to kill that because then it would. I mean, there's a better chance that my Hecarim would survive and be able to attack and everything. Ugh. I got ways to find me mushrooms. That gotcha was a great card. So just playing that that mushroom cloud gives them a second spell for draggling. Not all you well. You have to get me out of here. I get time walked again if I just play Hecarim. Like, can I survive that? Don't love my options. Guess this is the best one, though. Hey, Void Rose. Hello, hello. The spirit gives to those who listen. Not good for me. Pay dirt. 
Nope, not good for me at all. What is gained when you return malevolence? Be number five for Ezreal. Put on me mask, secure me tail, stop the day. Got a lot of stuff out, so they don't really have room for the Eye of the Dragon Dragonlings anymore. Down to just two cards besides those puff caps. I do have answers to the champions with these death marks. Just something that's vital to have. Clearing out the board a little bit. As far as heroin go, we heroin goes, we have had two Zeds die. Accept your fate. So we'll block like this. Block and sacrifice. Wouldn't rummage be something you want to do? Like, if that's like your kind of your plan anyway, wouldn't rummage just maybe? I guess that wasn't his plan. But wouldn't that be something you just do right away? So you have more information. I need to attack with five ephemerals to level up Hecarim next turn. I can accomplish that by casting the Onslaught of Shadows. So I think I will do that. Even though I know that's, that's another Hecarim. That two out of sevens. So we need to attack with five. This will be five. Hecarim already brings three. Because we have one Shark Chariot. Mm -hmm. 
This will be four and five. If it works. I don't I have no idea how to make. I don't know. I haven't seen that. Can Will of Ionia my Hecarim and then replay it? Or I can deny and try deny. Can't attack with Hecarim. I don't think it's worth the balance of me having the harrowing for the next turn. Is I can't just not. Oh, yeah, never mind. Yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, I have the shark coming. I forgot the shark's coming, so yes, I can just do this, and they and then he's got a block, and then I can death mark afterwards. I was gonna say, I can't just like just go to a taxi, you can just take it all, and then I just don't get to use my death mark for now. Hey, new bloco. So I don't think he's getting Dragolings, right? Like, I think he just played Thermogenic Beam, I think was the only spell. But yeah, just had the one spell. Because the concussive palm we denied, so it doesn't count as playing a spell. I will play my part. Yeah, harrowing will bring back two leveled up Zeds and a Hecarim. I don't even know if I should have even played this hapless aristocrat. It's just it just takes up room. Kind of did because I was worried about uh, things coming back, but I probably just shouldn't have. I was worried about blocking. I probably should not have been. Night falls. So I have eight puff caps left.
So Ezreal's leveled up. This works. Sure, hope this works. Yeah, Zed's doing good. I mean, Zed's, Zed's a good card. I, I like it. It's definitely a, a good card. So many things that just can't even attack. So I don't even have to attack with this. Yeah, that's probably fine. I guess this thing does have overwhelm though. These don't have overwhelm. Please control. I thought the shark was going to be last. I'm kind of surprised the shark was first. Lame. That feels really lame. Never mind. Don't like Topher anymore. to protect my life total just a little bit more. Hmm. Guess I have to keep you, Apple's Aristocrat. Even though I don't want to, but... This is, you know, probably a Phantom Prankster aggro deck. That egg, did it move? You'll never know what hit him. The thing I could have done there is that last turn with the the static shock that targeted the two things. Could have Will of Ionia'd one of my things to not let it get the target to not let them level up the Ezreal. If I would have done that, then I did not keep, you know, I. I basically kept the life steal death mark. Like I had seven mana, so I kept the life steal death mark uh, combo available if a champion was dropped at end of turn. Um, but yeah, I was, I was cause so I was kind of worried about I was worried about karma with that. But yeah, if I would have, you know, if I, you know, obviously if I knew his hand, like then it knew it's just the Ezreal, so then I should just will of Ionia bounce, and then they don't get the Ezreal target. Um, and then yeah, I, I would have would have won that game if I would have done that, but I didn't. No, I I don't think this is a Karina deck with Teemo, not usually. And yeah, now that we see Bark Beast, of course, I know you you said that before the Bark Beast came out, but. Play the Shadow Assassin to block the Teemo. 
but I'd rather play the Zed for attacking next turn. I just want to play the Zed attack. And I'm glad I didn't just play the Shadow Assassin to block. That's a heck of a turn three. A four four, a three three a four four, a three three, a three two, and a four four elusive all attacking on turn three. That is That is a heck of a turn. Only the worthy survive. We go as one. Could just no go no blocks and then I don't get to actually use this. Which is kind of my plan. I am the but I can't. My skill is I guess I could just never use that because you have to go to attacks to bring that thing out. And then if they don't block, you just don't get to. So yeah, I guess it, there's just no window for me to actually cast Death Mark. No, Timo is not the new guy. No, not at all. What's that noise? We are people. My life. Not at all. Really hoping Shadow Assassin gets to block Timo. Hoping Shadow Assassin gets the block Teemo. Never know what hit him. Yay. Come on, let me block, let me block. Block party. No. No. Go back and attack again. Oh, come on. Bleh. That is quite bad. Got it got worse. Wow. That got that turn got even worse for me. Like, how did that turn get worse for me? But it didn't. Just a pretty perfect turn. Pretty just perfect game for them. We talked about turn three, all the stuff that they had. Attacking on turn at three and then this turn. If I don't attack, or like if I don't even just play the Glimpse Beyond, I would would just be able to just save my mana, you know, just just like double block, save my mana, Ruination this turn to get rid of Teemo. But obviously that gets rid of my Zed as well. But with having a Harrowing, maybe that's what I'm supposed to be doing.
Please work. Please work. If not, I'm dead. Please work. Yuck. This is how it goes, though. You know, last time that we played the deck, things went well for us. Today, playing the deck, things are not going well for us. The Withering Whale does keep us alive, technically, but with us about to have a million puff caps. Not likely for long. But we have a chance, you know, maybe maybe we only got one one puff cap on top. If we just have one puff cap we can win. We get harrowing. Come on, one puff one stay alive, stay alive. Go over here, go over here. Just one. Two games that we were just a breath away from winning. A breath away from winning. If they don't have either of those get excited, I think we win. Like just either either one of those get excited, they don't have either one, we win. Obviously if they don't have the suit up, like, you know, just lots of things. Yeah, if we just draw one instead of two puff caps, we win. But same thing with the same thing with the previous game. Like we we're, you know, swinging for lethal easily, and then uh, you know they use every single last card to do exact lethal to me twice in a row now. I mean every card for exact lethal. So I want to keep glimpse beyond. I don't know. I don't I don't know if I'm supposed to keep Glimpse Beyond or not. I'm ready. Last game our opponent had turn one champion on the play with attacking. This game opponent has turn one champion on the play and attacking. Come, the journey ahead is long. We're playing a Teemo Plunder deck later on. Yeah, um, yeah, we're gonna be doing that later on. Uh, up third today, the Puffcat Plunder. The order rewards its faithful. Didn't do anything on turn two or turn three. Do not fear the shrouded path. I walk your path alone. I think it's a low percentage chance that I'm allowed to attack with Zed if they, you know, didn't have anything proactive to do the last couple of turns. I was gonna say, but if they use removal, I, I had Glimpse Beyond, but I guess I don't have Glimpse Beyond, because I Glimpse Beyond and this still just hit something else. Hold it, partner. Man, Twisted Fate is great against Zed. I don't know why I'm not attacking with the Soul Shepherd, also. That's an easy attack with Soul Shepherd, too. Good attack with both.
I play I've played Misfortune Sejuani before and I didn't like it as much as other um Sejuani decks. But with that being said, it's possible that my list wasn't very maybe my list wasn't very good that I played. I don't, I don't remember it. It was a while ago. So you get a free attack with Twisted Fate. They've already t triggered Plunder for the turn. Wow. Wow. That's a killer. My glimpse beyond. Oh boy, here I go. See, I've talked I've attacked with zero ephemeral so far. But Hecarim this turn can set up A harrowing next turn. I just have to have. I just have to spend one. You know, I just have to save one mana from next turn, so I can spend six mana next turn. So shark chariot and deny. I guess I don't really need shark chariot. Just play another Dark Water Scourge out and let it die. None of these options are like particularly appealing. Play a shark. Cause that's the thing, if they if they try to kill Hecarim, I can deny it. But if I don't deny it, I can bring Hecarim back. Um, with the harrowing. There's plenty of killing left. All right.
That looks pretty good. And let's go. They got blockers. Blockers for days. Oh no, they rummaged away one of my shark chariots? Why do they do such a thing? So we don't need to attack with the Hecarim and put it in harm's way from combat. We got enough attackers. Fire beware! Who's that you got there? Say your farewells. Back it up! You can't do this! Hey Rex, We've had a rough day, Runeterra. Today, it's, we ha we have so far two losses. Both our losses were as close as you could possibly get. They had to use their last card to do exact lethal to us both times. Kind of thing to use every single card. All right, back up to 20. They're at three. Safety. They will be leveling up Twisted Fate immediately. I can't stop that. Because of their pick a card. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. No, we're not, we're not necessarily dead. One. Just because Twisted Fate leveled up. Not necessarily. Something for all of you. Saving Hecarim is going to be difficult. So I can deny this gold card. Or I can try to bounce it back to my hand. Yeah, yeah, the the skull cards are gonna be resolving. I yeah, I can't I can't yeah, it doesn't matter if I kill Twisted Fate or not. Cool. 
I know it's a real big, you know, non-tempo play, but it's like a real bad tempo play for me. But that Hecarim is just going to be dying to the red card the next turn. Oh, come on. Looks like trouble. Another suit up. I really hope they can't gold card and stun this. Certainly possible. But I sure hope not. I guess I have the deny anyway. Soak it in. Consider a henching career. So that'll stun my Hecarim, and then the red card will kill the sharks. So we can deny the red card, and then yeah, I mean I think that's the the thing to do. I'll clear out those things. All the Try again. They still have a ton of mana. They, they played three spells this turn, and they still have a ton of mana. They only spent one mana on those three spells. Just don't really see good ways out of good good things to do. I don't know. Blue as the serpentine. I don't like any option. I'm probably gonna have to cast this withering whale to stay alive. Which would give me six mana, and so we're looking at like Vile Feast, Will of Ionia. I don't love that. I don't think it makes a lot of sense to Vile Feast anything right now whenever they're about to play something and get a red card.
all of it glitters. Exactly, wow. All these warning shots. So many of them. Zach Lethal. I was thinking, like, you know, obviously against warning shot, I wish I would have vile feasted the 2 2, obviously. But I was thinking, like, make them spend mana so they couldn't just spend mana to play. Like, make them spend mana to protect Fizz to make it difficult to just play Twisted Fate. And let me just go straight to attacks with the Hecarim the next turn. But they didn't have to spend mana to protect Fizz because they just had another. Like, not only did they save the Fizz, but they also dealt the one point of lethal. Like, the warning shot was just perfect. They already cast the warning shot that turn and the turn before. Just had another one. So again, yes, with with perfect information, we can go back and, and say, I wish I would have waited on that the vile feast. Yes, but I mean, does it does it actually get better? Because if I if I wait, I mean, I, I had to just vile feast the two two. That was like my only way to stay alive. Because so I don't I don't even think like waiting really is good because they just get to replay Twisted Fate and then do that and get you know blue card, red card, and stuff like that again. So frustrating these games. Opponents oh, just keep having the perfect things to barely kill us. Just all these games, it looks like we're gonna win, and our opponents have end up having the perfect things to kill us. Ugh. Every single game, my opponent keeps on having one drop. They have the attack token turn one with one drop. That doesn't help me. Fight or die. At least, at least this game, the one drop wasn't a champion for the first time in a while. Hired gun? <laughs> yeah, we were just getting blown out. Hired gun. So my plan was to play that Zed last turn, and then this turn we'd have the four mana, double spell with Soul Shepherd. Shark Chariot. Attack for a lot. Could still do that. Just go Zed attack. I think I do this. Where this will bring the other shark attacking. Where if I go... Uh, you know, then, then I can still have Zed next turn bring bring these back. So then... Leave nothing 
standing. Be still. I don't want to turn on, you know, all their plunder stuff. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Not easy. Games are not easy. Hapless aristocrat, why are you so worthless? I think I'm going to wait till next turn for Rekindler so they can have Deny back up after Rekindler. Good Lord is right. Wait. These these draws are just incredible. It's just like if you if you can just picture like the best cards to be playing all the time. This is what turn one Omen Hawk does. All of this. Yesterday we got so many wins, you know, we were, we were 504141 and so now we're just paying for that. So our opponents just get everything. Man, it's been ridiculous. I think it has been a good showing from our deck for how close we We've been to these games with how incredible all of our opponents' draws have been. Like my opponents have had like their top like two percent of like possible hands all the time. 
that game wasn't as close, I suppose. Every single round we've had the attack turn 2, turn 4, which is not what you want in the Zed deck. Obviously you want to be attacking turn 3 with Zed. But every single round it's been attack turn 2, turn 4. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. Every game. Set the hooks. This would be really nice if they're playing Jaw Hunters and I'm playing Zed and I'm attacking with my Zed. That'd be great for us. But now they they get to attack with their Jaw Hunters. It's a, it's a big difference. Alright, we gotta level up Zed. That's really good for the Rekindler. I don't feel like Hapless Aristocrat's even worth playing. I don't think it does anything. I'd rather have the mana, uh, you know, like the spell mana. Yeah, I don't think it really just does anything. Get to attack with Zed. They cannot hide. We go as one. No, no, no. Darn. really like to find Deathmark, right? That we can play Death, uh, Dark Water Scourge and then Deathmark and get rid of the Maokai. No. That would have been ideal. Beyond? Their hand must be really bad. So I bounce it, they get to replay it, toss two. 
Yeah, keeps them from drawing two cards. Yeah, this, this is worth it. It means that I'm not going to be, you know, not going to rekindle her this turn, Dawn and Dusk, it the next turn. That's fine. We'll just rekindle her next turn. Deathmark. We each died, then found home. One of that three mana, just in case we did draw a death mark. Hmm. The most likely scenario here is they play something pre-combat to go grab, uh, to go put, um, to go put a sapling into play. And let's hope this resolves. This will be great if this resolves. Our numbers. There we go. All right, we get a bunch of Zeds. So you may kill this Zed. You cannot kill them all. I had no I had no need to rush that death mark, should have waited. I could have grasped the undying to that thing. But I was planning for some grass the undying to thrash. This is the part of the game where the deep deck wins. I think we were just kind of too slow and not powerful enough without Hecarim. They did. They just outclassed my Zed. That's all I had. This game was just Zed and Devour the Deep, Maokai, Thresh. Those do outclass Zed. Unfortunately for me. Hapless Aristocrat has looked horrific. It's just a dead card. No, I've, I've never thought of, like, an Overwhelm Lee, Sh Lee Sin Shen deck. Gust of Chaos? No, I never... haven't considered that, really. So I wouldn't say that I have any plans to do that in the future. Do not deny me. Wasn't really anything on my radar, to be honest.
Similarly, Withering Whale has been very poor for us. My opponents have not played... Like, none of our opponents have been playing things that, like, die to Withering Whale or that are good with... Ha or the Hapless Aristocrat is good against. All right, getting these things out here now. Before I needed the room for my, my Dawn and Dusk Rekindler combo, I needed a, a Battlefield room. Now we can get jump blockers. Harrowing's perfect. It is perfect. Stare at the abyss. It'll stare back. Not good. Fell into him. Join the conflagration. The thing is, like, Harrowing's not even very good right now because of these crappy Hapless Aristocrats. They just take up room. We need to get Hapless Aristocrat out of this deck. Now I have, like, these stupid spiders. I don't want these things. They're just in the way. And what, I'm gonna get three cards? Please, kill all my spiders. Hey, Labworks. anything that's scheduled you just have to it was on legends of Rentera's youtube site they had a a video with it uh that talked about things that were planned for this year our work is not yet done so yeah that was just a you know really really disheartening five games, honestly. Uh, we have two hapless aristocrats. Man, those two cards were so worthless. I think it's like that it's really good against aggro, but against anything else, it's just it's just blocking your ability to do other cool stuff. But yeah, I, I hated I hated the hapless aristocrats. They were just costing me games and then the withering whales were not good either. Um I wanted more ephemeral things, like maybe maybe just another shark cherry. I don't know, something something that's like actually a threat. Hapless aristocrat's not a threat. I do like stirred spirits a lot. I could definitely see playing Stirred Spirits instead of these Aristocrats. Um, could be an option. 
I think this is a really underrated card because um, just a, a two mana three two is perfectly playable. You you know trades with all the other kind of cheap stuff. So you know it's just it's just trading a lot, and then like if it's not trading, it can really help out other things. And you can set it up. You don't always have to. Do, the thing is, you don't always have to do this ability. Sometimes you don't want to grant your supported ally ephemeral, and you don't have to, but you can. And yeah, it's good for Shark Cherry and everything. I think I'd rather have... Yeah, I, I would definitely rather have Stirred Spirits than Apple Surf Scrap. Um, and then I don't know about Withering Whale. Like, there's there's times that Withering Whale is really good, but it just it seems like it's gotten a lot worse in this current metagame. Like, there's just not things for it to be killing. Um, maybe... But, like, the life gain can be nice at some times. Like, maybe you cut one and play one Vengeance. Um to have like just a vengeance it's a really good removal spell will of ionia was pretty awkward also um like maybe maybe you cut a will of ionia for a vengeance because you know like, there's times like you know like where we need to kill like a big teemo or a twisted fate or things like that or will of ionia just you know bounces it puts it back in their hand they just replay it it doesn't actually get it off the battlefield where a vengeance would I'd probably cut one Will of Ionia and play one Vengeance. Maybe it's just a second Ruination. Maybe just that's the card. Just because, you know, we have, like, these ephemeral things. We only need, like, one thing out. You know, our opponents are, like, going wide and getting a lot of things in play. Maybe you just need a second Ruination. Yeah, that could be a... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just, just really frustrated with the uh, five losses for sure, especially how those losses happened, especially, like, the first three. So, I, I don't know. Those are just some things that I don't really... Yeah, those are, I think those are some of the weaknesses of the deck, though, are, are bigger things. Um, like, I think Ruination Vengeance could be really good in here and then yeah hapless aristocrat was just awful all right well not always gonna have great videos i know we went 5-0 last time 0-5 this time you know some a lot of those losses especially those first three were super close to being wins and could have gone the other way but that's how that's how the games go that's how card games go uh, it doesn't mean that like this deck was just absolutely amazing last time and now it's unplayable this time it's you know it's those other games that we were winning last time they were real close could have been losses this time they were losses could have been wins that's how it is all right uh but well, we'll move on to our next deck we'll be playing some Vimerdinger control up next uh those of y'all on youtube hit that like button and uh leave those comments i could you know, you know, feel free to leave comments what you think about the deck, anything that you think could be better, or you know, if you've been playing it, what, how, how have been your experiences playing the deck? Um, you know, help cheer me up. <laughs> I could use it. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.